Hey, good morning. I'm gonna go through the steps of gluing on a clog. So here we go. All right, big guy. We have a clog glued on right now, and I'm gonna just highlight where the glue and the shoe meet at the heels. These have been on eight weeks. You can still see we have a really nice glue bond. I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and take them off. And I'm gonna score right between the glue and the shoe bond. So I'm gonna use my clinch cutter and a rubber mallet to pop the glue bond at this point. See how it popped that side. Pop that side. So to remove a lot of this glue that's on the sides, I, I just wait for my trimming process to help remove most of it. And you'll see that as I come back through my heel here, a good portion of my glue got trimmed off and uh, I'll have less cleanup to do here in a minute after my trim. One of the things that I've learned uh, is to prep my foot as much as possible on what that finished result looks like before you glue. So if you wanna roll your toe, you wanna do that now, not later, so that your glue can hook into that area. And I'll show you more what that looks like when I've cleaned up the shoe and bring the shoe back to the foot. One, I'm gonna remove the excess glue at the heel and I'm gonna just still do it in my working position under the horse. And the goal is to just stop as soon as you see the glue peel off and you see new hoof wall. Don't have to get all of it because when I go back and score the foot, the rest will come off. So with this dust and glue, it's important to be wearing a mask. After you've cleaned the foot, go ahead and do a heavy score with the corner of your rasp, at mostly the back third of the foot. Okay, done. Way of cleaning up the shoe, instead of trying to grind it or smooth first, remove the big chunks with your nipper. And that's if you're resetting. If you're not resetting, then it's a different process. But we're gonna just go ahead and, it's quicker, less dust, to just go ahead and take your nippers. Half rounds work really well too, to bite in and clean up the shoe. You can see how gummy and dirty this belt is. So when you're gluing, it's super important to make sure you have clean belts so that you're not contaminating the shoe that you're working on. And that goes for steel, aluminum, composites, regardless. As I'm getting the shoe ready to glue, uh, I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on so I don't contaminate the shoe surface with any of my oils from my hands.
You can see that uh, from my last glue job, I had drilled some holes and countersunk them just to give the glue a little bit more of a surface area so it wouldn't be just one flat substrate. The way I do that is with my drill press. So after I have trimmed and prepped my auto hoof wall, I'm gonna prep my inner hoof wall. I'm gonna use a two inch wire wheel on a drill and just score it so it has, <coughs> the glue has a nice place to adhere to. And just gonna get rid of the surface moisture. Trim the hair back a little bit so it doesn't get caught in the glue. Voila. Good. Foot's prepped, ready to glue. Here's our shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and score and put a nice round over on my toe there. <clears throat> I'm gonna carry it around the outer edge of my wall as well, the glue will fall into this little round over and fill it in and help lock in the shoe. Okay, so it'll look like so once the shoe's glued on. Okay. Okay. So once I pick up the foot here, uh, I'm not gonna be putting this foot down. Ideally, uh, I give it my final little brush, clean, I score the edges of the foot with my rasp, I've already cleaned the inner part with the wire wheel. I have some arty mud worms already put together. It's important to fill up the comma shares for a couple of different reasons. We don't want the glue to set up in a knifing or sharp point. And it's important that the frog's independent from the gluing process. If the horse needs to put its foot back down during this time, it's fine. Just have a little sheet of paper or something available for it to stand on. <clears throat> I'll also sometimes create a little bit of a dam with the arty mud in the back of the foot so that I keep the back of the frog free from glue getting on there as well. All right, at this point, glue's been in a heat gun. A blanket getting warm, it's chillier today. I have a brand new tube of glue. I'm gonna wait till the color changes. So it's kind of tan, and once it starts to mix, you'll see it turn a different color. There, see how it's cream? there's more cream? It started to mix well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the bottom of the foot. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all my little Glue rivet holes on my shoe. Have enough in the heel to come around the edge of the hoof wall. <clears throat> I'm gonna spread the glue around with a tongue dispresser first so I know that it gets worked into all the little nooks and crannies and fissures that we created. Same with the shoe. Really work it in well. Glue's sitting up quite quickly. So now I'm gonna, I know the frog's gonna have a little bit of an indent. So I'm gonna work my glue to where I want it, which is back in the heels here and some at my toe. <coughs> so this is where, once I push it down, that's where I want it. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the excess glue Feather it back to my heel and up the hoof wall. Same on this side. Feather it back to the heel and up the hoof wall. Gonna round it around the toe here. And I, I typically use extra glue. And the reason I do is I have not had enough and it's inconvenient being short. So, you know, that's not that much extra glue, but I'd rather have extra, like I said, 
it's starting to tack up. Um, at this point, I might use my fingers to smooth it out. The more work I can do smoothing it out here on the, the back side, I don't have as much cleanup to do. All right, at this point, I'm gonna ask Joe to take off one layer of glove so I can hold his foot without putting glue on his hair. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Stretch wrap can be one of those things that can work in your favor or against you. If you pull it too tight at this process right now, you can actually move the shoe and move it off center. So when I go to break it off, you can see that I'm breaking it off from being in my hand. And the main reason I'm doing this is just to kind of help trap the heat. It's a chilly morning. It's about what, 35 degrees? And uh, the exothermic reaction of this glue um, is able to help hold the heat in when I put the stretch wrap over it. And I'm gonna just do another little wrap around the toe because I missed it. Little big guy. You're good, you're good. Having the glue preheated uh, really helps set the, the amount of time that you have to hold this foot up. So a little heating blanket with your glue in is how I had this set up. So the glue was being preheated and you can already see that it's gone rubbery at this point. It's um, already kicked. So we're, we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit harder before we let him wait bare on it. He's giving me a little bit of a ass saying, hey, can I stand on my foot again? And this is just when we, we ask these guys to hang in there for a tiny bit longer if possible. The glue's nice and hard. It's kicked up, it's about four minutes, and I'm gonna ask him to slowly bear his weight on it. So what I do, so they don't slam it down, is I'm holding right above the carpus here, and I let the leg go down slowly like so. That was a great example. Thank you for doing it like that. All right. We go ahead and remove our stretch wrap. Remove any excess glue. You can see how the round over on the hoof wall in the shoe, the glue fills in that area and helps create a little bit of better bond. Use a super glue, thin set, and I'll just go ahead and start from the top of the coronary band. And what this does is it helps create a seal for your glue bond and helps minimize the peeling process. Hopefully, this has been helpful for you with uh, steps for gluing on a plastic clog. And as you can see, here's our finished result. This horse is able to be ridden how many times a day? A week? Five. Five times a week um, and walk trot yeah. in Canada. And uh, a year ago, he was unable to walk. So this is a nice way to be able to create a solution. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Thank you guys.